If you're brand new to Scrivener, then the reality is that you may well have an unfinished book or novel that you began writing in Word and which you would now like to finish writing within Scrivener. Or it may be the case that you have already finished your book in Word and would like to import the book into Scrivener in order to take advantage of Scrivener's compiling feature. It is actually relatively straightforward to import a book which has been written or partly written within Word. To get the text of the book into Scrivener, all you need to do is create a new project. Here I am using the blank template and then simply click on File, Import and then click on Files. You then locate your Word document. I have created a new document for this example called Book Example. And then you click on Import. And Scrivener begins to import the Word file into your binder. Like so. OK, so now you have your complete Word file whether that be a finished or partially finished book, within a single file in your Scrivener binder. Now this is obviously far from ideal. You could of course copy and paste different segments of the text, for example scenes or chapters, and then create a series of new files within Scrivener. So let's say I copy the text from chapter 1, and then add a new file and name it chapter 1 and then paste the text into the new file. So now I have manually created a chapter within Scrivener. And you can of course rinse and repeat and manually add all of your chapters or scenes in this way. However, there is an automated way of doing this which depending on the size of your book, is a lot quicker, but more importantly, it probably lessens the chance of any mistakes. To use this automated way of importing your Word created book into Scrivener, you will need to prepare the Word document first. So I'm going to open up my book example Word document, and I will show you what I mean by preparing the Word document. So here I am in Word, and as you can see, I have started writing a book. I haven't actually written much, only four chapters, but nonetheless, I would like to import the book into Scrivener in such a way that each of my chapters are recognized as separate files within the Scrivener binder. What I need to do in order to achieve this is to mark the different chapters using a symbol. Now this can be any unique symbol you see fit, but for this example I am going to use a hashtag. So I simply place a hashtag immediately before each new chapter, like so, so that Scrivener will know where to split the text and place it into separate files. Once I have done that for every chapter or scene in my book, I can save the file as it is now ready to be imported into Scrivener. OK, here we are back in Scrivener. And before I import my book, I am going to delete these files that we have created so there is no confusion. That's better. Right, so all you need to do is click on File and then Import, but this time you need to click on Import and Split. And you will notice down here a little box that says Sections are separated by, and this is where you need to put the symbol that you used as a marker to separate the different chapters or scenes within your Word file. And this actually defaults to a hashtag. 
So if you use the hashtag as your symbol, you don't actually need to change anything here. All you need to do is locate your Word file and then click on Import. Again, Scrivener works in the background, importing your book into the binder. But this time, each of your chapters have been imported separately as separate files within Scrivener. And voila! Your Word created book is now ready to be added to, edited, or compiled within Scrivener.